Welcome back to Magic TV. Now, normally on Monday at nine o'clock, I do a five by five. I will have a new five by five up next week, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit special this Monday, because obviously in four days time, we've got the Blackpool Magic Convention. And I've said on this channel over and over again, the first thing that I do when I go to Blackpool, even before the dealer rooms open, because I can normally sneak in, is I go and see Mark Mason. I go and see JB Magic. And I go and just buy everything sight unseen because I know it's going to be the best thing at the convention. Now, I got an email from Mark five days ago saying, I've got five new items at Blackpool. He, it was a thing that he sent out to everyone, five new items at Blackpool. Didn't really say anything about them. And I thought, I wonder if I can get Mark to tell us a little bit about what's coming out at Blackpool because I know this is going to be super exciting for me. And luckily, even though he's getting everything ready, he spared us a few minutes, which is super exciting. So I have on Magic TV for probably what feels like the thousandth time, the one and only, the demo king, the, 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 the god of the dealer room, Mark Mason. How you doing, mate? Hello, Craig. How are you, fella? I'm, I'm amazing. I'm starting Always. to get worried that you're stalking me a bit. You keep kind of sending am. me messages saying, will you talk to me? What's wrong with you? The, p the problem is you keep bringing all this amazing stuff out and I have to like, I have to like share it with everybody because I can't keep it to myself. And I, um, hmm. I did send a newsletter out and I don't know how many emails I've answered. The downside of the Blackpool email is there's no video, there's no trailer, it's not cool, it's not. So people, and I understand that, go, well, there isn't a video. What does, what does it look like? Or, and I say, well, it's meant to be honest to try and get you to come over to the booth and have a look you know so I can show you because there's nothing like seeing tricks still is there it's not the same is it when you really really see them you go oh wow that's great um, yeah. but yeah Craig you hit the nail on the head uh, usually I only do three we got five new items four general items one coin trick okay um, looking forward to getting back behind the booth at Blackpool and, and seeing if anybody likes any of this crap. Sorry, I'm sure. quality products, Craig, not crap. Quality products. <laughs> and you know what? It's been two years since Blackpool. I can't wait to see you doing your thing. Honestly, I, I sometimes just sit there and just watch you. That's kind of why there's five, Craig, because huh? we've had that little yeah. two-year yeah. layoff. You know, I, I thought, well, I may as well take a couple of extra bits. You know what? People might not believe this, but you get some feedback yourself. And by the end of the convention, you've tweaked a thing and changed a thing and thought, ah, rather than do it that way, I'll, I'll switch it when I do this or I'll get mm. the glimpse when I do. So it, it's good for me as well. It really is. And I've only done three events in two years. Wow. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. Yeah, do you think you're going to be a bit rusty or do you reckon it'll all... Uh... Well, what I decided to do was two of the events were three, four weeks ago. I went to SAM Las Vegas. And I went to Magi Fest, Joshua and Andy's event, mm -hmm. to get a little bit of the rust off because uh, the first night I was like, man, you, it's not so much you can't do the trick, you forget some of the lines, you know, some of the, the delivery lines. And plus one of them didn't exist. I have a, a brilliant glimpse item, a peak item called Slick by Alan, Alan Rorison, but that didn't even exist. It only just came a couple of days ago, ready and complete to go. So I've never done that for anyone. And the others I have demmed a little bit. So yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a little better. I, my question before we start talking about this stuff is, are you still going to be able to do your party trick at Blackpool? Because one thing that always amazes me at Blackpool is you'll have people, thousands of people coming up to the stand. You know everyone's name. Hey, John, how's the kids? Hey, yeah, Simon. Yeah, I'm lucky. I, my memory's not great, but really good at names. Um, I had an email from a guy just a couple of weeks ago about something different. And he said, the best trick you ever did was say my name at Magi, no, Magic Live with no badge on, nothing. You knew, he said, I was more impressed with that than the tricks. So yeah, hopefully uh, I'll be doing a few, but I might be a little rusty because I haven't seen a few guys for a while. Uh, the, the key is not, not to read the badge, right? It's easy if you read the badge. Exactly. But I know you're Craig Petty, so that's all right. And I know your boy's Ryland, so that's all right. Well, he's well, the most important to a covered, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, well, let's start talking about these five new tricks. And the first one, you just mentioned it. It's called Slick. Yeah. And I'm calling it right now. This has got a very good chance of being Trick of the Convention. Because I've never seen a peak like this before. Like, I, 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 I do peaks. I know lots of different methods of doing peaks. 
I've seen lo- like over the last few years, there's been some incredible wallets come out. Yeah. Uh, Mark Obron brought out that really clever thing inside. That's great. Uh, no, so no, many, absolutely so agree. Um, this is totally different method. Like this is, I've yeah. never seen a method like this before. And I haven't neither. And when Alan showed me it, Alan Rorison, who I bought the rights from, I went, I know it sounds corny. I went, well, when when do you see it? I, I, I don't get it. You know, it really is encapsulated. You can't see it. Then he showed me and I went, I've never seen anything like that before. Um, as you know, I like to tip the methods, but I'd love to show this at Blackpool without tipping the method. Yeah. I showed you the method just so you can be honest and go, well, I haven't seen the method. I mean, I'm happy to show you the prop. I mean, yeah. that really is it. It, is it a looks just card, like a credit, credit card, card holder, doesn't it? It's a credit card holder. That's exactly what it is. You can put money in there. You can put a prediction in there. It has a built-in blister effect. I will tip that much because I won't be a dem the blister because of the fire, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a built-in blister trick with ESP symbols that's terrific, but that is not the main effect. The main effect is a peak. It's funny word the word peak. Peak always to me means you just get a quick look. This is really reading. I mean, I I've got all day to to read the word, the the name, the symbol. Um, you can use any business card. Uh, you know, your own. It doesn't have to be something special. But that's what it looks like. Uh, that really is my credit card. There, by the way, guys. That is my credit card. It's an out-of-date one, so I'm safe. Um, you can put money in there, uh, and that's what it looks like. You get the peak instantly. It's not what you think, is it, Craig? The peak. No, like Mark showed it me, right? And I'm not exaggerating. Obviously, we're not going to talk method. Knowing Mark, if you go over to him at Blackpool, he will talk method because I'm going to show you the method because the so method might be better than the trick. Exactly. But this is what it looks like genuinely. So you've got that little thing. You take out one of your business cards. You tell them to write down whatever they want to write down. You, you, you're looking away. It's, it's slotted there into the thing so you can't see anything. You put your credit card over the top of it so you can't see anything. Immediately, you just give it to them. They can look at it from every side. There's That's no the glimpses. Bit. There's no moment where you open up the wallet to take out another card. There's no. no moment where you're looking at it and it's like an SUC peak and never. It's literally you put it in, you put it in, you show it on all sides, you give it to the spectator. They hold it between your hand, their hands, but in, you've got that you've information. You've already got the info, and it's really disarming because you don't see where it's even possible to get that information. Yeah. Because it's gone in and immediately shown on both sides and all sides. I probably had 20 emails, Craig, saying, is it any credit card? The credit card's just your credit card. Yeah. And what's yeah. nice about it, and this is what, just let me mention this, it is your credit card that you just put in there. But when you put your credit card in, because there's that strap along the, uh, along the front, which has got nothing to do with the peak, but there's that strap there, it hides your credit card number. So when you give Correct. it to them, they can't even see your credit card number or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I did think a bit about that because you could you can really use your up to date today's credit card and uh, but no they that's what they would see actually a bit the other way up but that's what they'd see anyway they, they can't see any numbers you can't see any numbers on this at all so all you can see is my name really all the number numbers are, are down here look under the strap but but truth told anyway Craig it goes in upside down anyway yeah I'm not going to tip it but it has to go in that way anyway. So there's, there's nothing anyone could see, is there? No, not at all. Um, but great method. If you like and methods, you should come and have a look at whether you buy one or not. You should come and have a look at because you'll go, is that the method? And you can just throw a couple of business cards into that thing and you'll reset immediately yeah. for the next table, for the next yeah. table, for the next table. Yeah. I, I like to do magic square. It's my little trick I do sometimes when someone says do something. But when I do magic square, I always do it without asking the number. So I do the whole thing without knowing the number. But obviously, I've peaked the number somewhere. So I get all the numbers wrong, and then I reveal that it's all correct. And this would be great for that. Mm. It'd be terrific for getting the number. It'd be incredible. And I know you glossed over it, my friend, but the blister effect that's built into it is great because normally with a blister effect, it's a playing card. Your hand has to go into your pocket for some reason or something like that. With this... Mark's built the blister effect onto the outside of the uh, of, of the actual credit card holder, and you can't tell that there's anything there. Yeah, that's it, it there. That is the blister. You're looking at it. That's the blister effect. Yeah, that you just can't see it. it. 
And unlike playing cards, it's five ESP symbols. So five how ESP I would probably symbols. do that is I'd use, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd probably do the blister effect first and then, you know, but get the peak, do the blister effect and then go into when you put everything in their hand and then you got the, the, the reveal of the information afterwards. I won't right. let them the blister effect, Craig, because you have to burn, I, you have to set a fire, don't you, to get a blister. Yeah. And so but you can it, show them. You can show. You can show them. Absolutely, I'll show you with pleasure. Yeah. yeah, it's on the other side of of the peak. So one Brilliant. side is the blister effect. The other side is the peak. You Brilliant. can't mix them up because of the method of the peak. Once you understand what I'm talking about, you can't do it wrong. Uh, the method of the peak right. stops you being on the wrong side. Yeah, um, it's called slick. Every credit to Ali, Alan Rawlinson because that's that's a fantastic idea. It really, really is. And I just had to get them made and done and make the, the little gizmo. And uh, it's very good. Very, very strong. That's amazing. So that's the first one. How the hell are we going to top that? What's trick number two, Mark? Well, I've got, I've got five. I've got... Um, can, did I, can you remember when we did Switcher 2? Did I mention to you I was still building that vanishing card box? Yes. So the, that's called Case Dismissed. Looks like that. That was incredible. It's, I didn't. Oh wow! Yeah, you kind of showed me the prototype for that. I, yeah, I've been messing. I know everyone says this. I've been working year, but I picked it up and put it down forever. You know, uh, I wanted to have a. Um, I wanted to have a gimmick. This is the gimmick. I wanted to have a gimmick that didn't have, even though it's a flap, it didn't have a step at the beginning or the end. Mm. And the only way you can do that is to have three moving pieces. This moves, this moves, and this moves. Right. And the power comes from the underneath, not on. Normally, you're putting power on now, aren't you? Yeah. But there's no elastic here. That, that there's no power there. Um, don't even know if I could show you this. Maybe, maybe I could. I don't know. That there's there's. Can you see that? All right, Craig. Yeah, that looks yeah. just like a card. Case. And then on the way down, it's gone. Holy. That's it. You can show every card, go into any routine, totally gone. No step at the end and no step at the beginning. And that's because it doesn't work out how you think. I know I'm tipping this. You don't mind, do you? No, no, it's fine. There's no step here now. And now the tension is on. So it's going to do one, two and three. But the, it's firing it from underneath, not from the top. They went nuts in America at the SAM and people were stood there going, oh, I can't believe it. And that's what it is. It's three moving pieces. All three have to be able to move for it to do this. Oh, I dropped that. Sorry. Let me see if I can. Now you'll understand what's happening. So from the underneath, it's going to do that. Yeah. This piece is going to lock it. It's all magnetic. This is going to lock it. And so and at the end of the routine, feature. you just take your joker out, put it in your top pocket. Yeah, or I just, I just steal this off, or, or I just shuffle it to the bottom and put a pen away. Or that, but, but really good, really, really, really pleased with that. Oh. I think that'll sound great. Uh, everyone who's seen it so far loves it. You get that instant moment of magic. Um, what an incredible great... opener. Like I've talked on this channel before about if you're doing card magic at a gig, you want to do something like that to open because if you just walk up to a group and go pick a card, they're going to go, yeah. oh, I've seen that one before. Yeah, absolutely. Most magicians take the cards out of the box, right? Me, I just make the box disappear, you know, and now I can produce that from the pocket. I have a nice bit where I dump all this and I just leave reboxed and put them all back in again. <laughs> <laughs> so, will you, so have, will you, have, cool, will you have reboxed at the uh, black? Maybe. So the box vanishes, and then I say, actually, the bo and now I put them all back in, and now it's a big circle. It's ready to rock and roll again, isn't it? That's killer. So that's called Case Dismissed. I think that's going to be great. Um, have a brand new coin gimmick that people are going to, again, you have to see. It's now you have F Artless. And it's called effortless because it's a four fingertip, one, two, three, four at your fingertips, and they're going to vanish. But um, effortless, no moves. I got um, really? two gaffs that makes everything happen. One gaff is something you're very familiar with, if you know what I mean. Okay, well, at that point, it's got to be one of two gimmicks. Okay, right, yeah. But not made how you think. It's, it's a different... 
a different way of using that that gaff and um, really? we've offset the magnet in in the gaff so it makes something happen for the vanishers that's pretty amazing so really pleased with that it's called effortless um probably will only have half dollars and liberties but we will make them in in other coins as well if anybody's interested we have a really good moving hole effect i'm addicted to moving holes they, they just i just like them so it's a sign card with punch three holes put something through the middle hole it visually jumps from end to end and then from the top to the bottom gimmick is great one. really gimmick gimmick is really cool really smart um, I like to roll up a dollar bill or a five and put it through, and then they see it visually jumping from end to end. That the sounds gaff, The gaff's great. The gaff's really good. Is it like a single gaff that you add to the deck and then you yeah. can take it out? Of, oh, single that's gaff great. that you add to the deck. That's exactly what it is. You could put a feather through it. Guy gave me a great idea. Put his, put his, um, took his phone jack out and put that through it, and then the phone jack moved up and down. Nice. And I went, that's quite good. That, that's quite a great idea. Um, so that that's going to be good as well. And then I have um, a scratch off card, um, a lottery card, yeah, scratch yeah, yeah. off that visually turns into their selection. Very, very nice. Is that is that uh, like a flat thing? Like a flat thing, but don't forget it's bigger, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's bigger, so you, and you put it on top of the deck, snap, and it visually changes into their into their card. Um, very good. Uh, it's called Scratch. Actually, I've got one. It's called Scratch. Looks like that. Um, no refills. Nobody ever scratches anything. You just tell them, you know, you're going to get a chance to win a lot of money. And then I bring out the Scratch card. I didn't say it was a good chance. <laughs> it's, a, you know, it, you could win 50 grand. And, but, and then it turns into their card. Um, the other one that I didn't show you is called Wholesome. Looks like that. Wholesome's the three moving... Item moves from hole to hole. Uh, great gaff, really good gimmick. Very smart gimmick. Um, I can't tip it because it would literally immediately you go, I get it. But uh, yeah, you visually see stuff move up and down. I've got a killer move now for the end. I won't lie, it's not on the DVD. It's what I told you at the beginning when I demmed it a hundred times at Magi Fest. I went, oh, you could do this. So I hold it like this with three holes and they see it and I just go like that and they see it move. But I, I, it, just, it just came to me the other day and I thought that would be a great way of demming it. Looking forward to Blackpool. Um, so that's, the, that's, the, that, that's the five though, isn't it? So you've got yeah. the, uh, yeah, so you've got the, just to recap, you've got the the peak, the... Uh, uh, peak, peak is called Slick. Slick. And then you've got the Vanishing Card Box. That is called Case Dismissed. See, I thought of that myself. Case like that. <laughs> dismissed. <laughs> I, I got to get a life or something. This is effortless. Yep, that's the, uh, the coin that's the, vanish. The coin vanish, that's which I'm going to be very. In. I never mentioned you really show for. Separado, really? separate. You okay. show all four, and that's what throws everyone off. You really got my attention peaked on that one, my friend. Scratch. That's the scratch card. Yeah, and wholesome is something through three holes that moves up and down. You the scratch card thing sounds nice. I like also having switcher two. Oh, because they're like you can't get hold of those anywhere. Yeah, like... I've got about fifty, so they're they're already there. They're already in England done, and I've also got about it's not a lot. Fifteen switcher two parlor. Really? Yeah, it's not a lot. I ain't got two hundred and ten or anything. I think people think this is a bigger. Man, it, it still fits in any jacket pocket. It's just for parlor size cards, you know, the the yeah. ones I always mention Christian Schenk because he seems to be the one who, who, who always has those, of those, doesn't he? Although Peter Nardi's been bringing out a lot of his tricks recently in sort of pro size. Right. It'll be the similar size then, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he's he's got a lot of his stuff in in pro size. Card. I know you like my expanded fifty p. I've got I've got some of those over there. I've That's got just some ridiculous. Double deception ten p's uh, that we never make. Wow. So yeah, and you've got I mean, your range of silver coins as well. You yeah, I've stuff. got a range of other stuff and bits and pieces. Hopefully, it'll be good. Um, let, let's see. I mean, it's it's a wacky time, isn't it? You know, let's just see. You know. I, we don't know how many are going and what it's going to be like, but it's Blackpool, right? It's always 
Exactly. It's just nice to be back to feeling yeah. like it's some sort of normality. I always kind of judge things as things are going in the right direction if we can all get back together and kind of just enjoy magic. So. Uh, absolutely. And it was really nice of you to drop me a message saying, you know, do you want to show anybody? And of course, people who are not in Blackpool, these are not released yet, Craig. But if they drop me an email or a message, you know, I'm sending some around the world to customers and to people. There's people who are not going. Well, of course, we can we can do that for you. No problem. That's great. And obviously, with the fact that you've got two distribution hubs, you can ship from yeah, anywhere in absolutely. the world. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm sending... I'm already sending four or five slicks out as a, you know, when I get to England next Thursday. So Blackpool really, and, and, uh, and effortless, I've got numerous ordered and the vanishing card box numerous. Also, it, you know, I can do that for people because a lot of people are still a bit weary. So, you know, they'll decide if they want to go and what they should do. And, and for people that don't live in England that maybe aren't coming to Blackpool, are you going to be at any other uh, conventions this year? Have you confirmed any? I've confirmed magic live. Okay. I'm doing, do you know Leo? Leo Smester's, uh, cr- yes, he has he's a, an absolute, complete and total nutbag. I love what him What a nutcase, but he has a magic day in June. Oh, okay. In Holland, it's one day, I think it's called his crazy carousel or something, so I'm going to go to that. These are all, all being well, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think I'm going to Italy to Magic Masters. That's what I've got booked in so far. Mm-hmm. Still no lectures or clubs. I'm just letting it kind of go back to normalish. Yeah, and then I'll be back available to five find the five of diamonds at your magic club. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I don't want you ever to stop lecturing, man. I, 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 over here at the moment, another legend of mag- magic, Harry Robson, is doing his farewell lecture tour. He's doing his last ever lecture tour, and. I've known yeah. Harry a long time. He's a good guy, isn't he? He's great. It's going to be a sad day when he doesn't lecture anymore, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. he's not as young as you think, Harry. I won't give his age away, but he's not 25. Let's, shall we say that? Yeah, I thought I thought he was about 137. Is that about he right? He is. He is. Okay. Yeah. Did you peak that? Yeah, yeah, I did. I've got a slick. <laughs> <laughs> um, Craig, once again, thanks. Any Thank of you, you guys who are not coming, we'll see you down the road. The guys who are coming to Blackpool, can't wait to see everybody. Uh, look after yourself, stay safe, and as always, thanks a lot, Craig. Awesome, Mark. Thank you so much. Let me just ask, will there be deals to be had on the day? Can people come up yes. to you? And yeah, I am going to have on my regular stuff, which will include the four new tricks. I think it's 75. I can't remember, Craig. You can pick any four tricks on my booth for 75. It will include Slick. It will include the card case. It will include Alibi. Juxtapad, I know, are already there. Trick I do a lot. Um, so you'll be able to pick any four, and I think it's four for 75. It's a hundred dollars, whatever that is at the moment. I think it's around 75. Brilliant. Um, so absolutely, I'll do a I'll do a little combo for the guys who are looking for a, a little deal. Amazing. Uh, so, guys, if you're watching this, that is your Blackpool exclusive. First thing you need to do when you get into the dealer hall, go down the stairs, turn left, follow the big massive crowd, find uh, Mark Mason. And buy everything that he's got, because that's what I do. <laughs> Sight unseen, I just know it's going to be amazing. Mark, thank you so much. You're welcome. All my love to Trish. I'll see you next week. Thank you for jumping on Magic TV again and giving us a sneak peek. Bye, guys. Bye. Take care. Mm-hmm.